just when you thought you knew all the reasons why you may be putting on a few extra pounds, here's another culprit I bet you never thought of. Cooking shows on TV. <laughs> Here to reveal how reality food shows may be causing you to, you to pack on the pounds is the author of the Hungry Girl Diet Cookbook, Hungry Girl herself, Lisa Lillian. Welcome back, Lisa. Thank you, good to be here. I love it when you come because you always bring good food. But how, how are these cooking shows causing this problem? You know, people want to recreate the recipes they see on TV, and usually they're made with super decadent ingredients, and then they buy all of that stuff, and they're snacking on the stuff when they're making it. And quite frankly, that stuff is really loaded with fat and calories, and the portion sizes are huge as well. So what people can do is they can watch those shows and enjoy them, but then tune into the doctors, and from you, yes. learn some nice, healthy alternatives. High five. Starting <laughs> with... <laughs> What's, what's, what's a, a first, is, looks like maybe an appetizer yes, here? Yes, this is a pork tenderloin slider that okay. just, I mean, that sounds amazing, but each, I want you to reveal the calorie counts for the little this tiny is pork one. slider. One, 395 yes. calories, Three, 22, 22 grams of fat. 22 grams of fat. For one of those. For one of those. Now, my version, I think you should clap for this. this up by only coating the, the pork one time with the pretzel coating and using light mayo, and instead of frying them, they're baked. They're crispy, crunchy, and delicious, and my calorie counts, 165 Boom. calories and four grams of fat. So you can eat two of these for less than one of those. Yeah, that's win, the reality. Win. That's called a win-win. Win-win-win. All right, so let's okay. move on to our next decadent cooking show. What yes, is that? this is a frittata made mm. by Tiffany Thiessen on her show Cooking with Tiffany. It does look it's good. It's a red pepper goat cheese frittata. Sounds a little fancy. Look at the calorie counts. So we're looking at 460 calories, 375, 37.5 grams of fat. Grams and is that fat? for the whole thing there? No, it's just for a serving. A I think it's a quarter. It's a quarter of the frittata. Wow. But that's, this is an egg dish, so it is so easy to lighten that up. There's the Hungry Girl version. Thank you for the coffee. Which. Now, 240 calories, I'm liking 240 that. 240 calories and only nine and a half grams of fat. We lighten this one up by using egg whites instead of whole eggs, and instead of loading it up with oil, you only cook the veggies in a little oil using Greek yogurt instead of heavy cream, and instead of goat cheese, which is a little bit of an acquired taste, there's a reduced fat feta, but you have all the flavor for a tiny fraction of the calories and fat. And last but not least, I'm looking at some sort of decadent dessert dish here. Yeah, that's Pioneer Woman's strawberry pretzel pie. Now, strawberry pretzel pie is a thing, but a slice of that baby has... Boom! 515 calories and 18 grams of fat. That is a crime against strawberries. Yes, it's, it's delicious, but it's so easy to lighten up. And there is my version. Her pie is made with four cups of pretzels and a whole stick of butter in the crust. So instead, I have an upside down version of this pie, so instead of using the crust, you make the, the strawberry center, which has less sugar, but then check it out, bite into it. We just top it with some crushed pretzels so you don't have all the butter and all the extra sugar and all the extra pretzels. And look at that, there's no, instead of the strawberry jello, we're using gelatin. Again, a fraction of the sugar. And this one, 165 calories and two grams of fat. Oh, how sweet it is. <laughs> It's really tasty, great alternatives, and Lisa's actually gonna have her recipes for the healthier versions of these reality show dishes on our website, thedoctorstv.com. Thanks, Lisa, always Thanks so much fun. Me.